welcome back to my channel people it's good seeing you guys again how are you guys doing thank you for watching my videos thank you to all my old subscribers and if you are new to my channel please and please and please subscribe to my channel all right yeah. so guys in today's video i will want to discuss with us the dangers of inferiority complex and procrastination so stay tuned and I'll be back shortly. Welcome back to my channel. Like I said earlier, we'll be discussing about um, dangers of inferiority complex and their uh, procrastination. Yes, so, I want to use myself as an example today because there is my experience in life. So what does it mean? Inferiority complex, letting yourself down. When you think that you cannot do anything, when you know you can do something, when you think that you don't have power to do something, but you know that you have the potentials to do it, there are things that require our human intelligence or human knowledge because you limit yourself to a certain levels. That is what makes you not be able to achieve that thing. I want to use myself as an example. When I was in secondary school, I love you know there are all this um, there are a lot of groups in the in the school. There is a debating group, there is a dancing group, cultural group, drama group, and all that. So when I was in school, I wanted to belong to the singing group and debating group. I joined, but I never participated in any debate. Why? Because I never knew I had the potentials of what it takes to debate. I see myself to be a stammerer. That is why I never take the courage to stand out and speak. As at that time, I had a zeal, but fear has stopped me from, you know, bringing out myself to do it. So I didn't do anything much when I was in secondary school. I did not engage in so many activities because I did not steal the good part of myself. I allow my fears to wear me down. I allow what I fear mostly to wear me down. I did not come out of my shell. I was inside my shell dwelling in self-pity. I was dwelling in self-pity. I was like, what if I go there? And make mistake they will laugh at me it is better for you to make mistake and, and learn than for you not to make mistake and you do not learn you still remain in ignorance so i've been dwelling on this problem in fact i dwelled on this inferiority complex for a long long time but at a point i was like no in this yt journey for instance when i was about to start this yt journey I didn't feel the courage. I was looking down on myself, saying I don't have what it takes to do it. But I forgot to know or to remember that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That is what Philippians said. I forgot to take in all these things. But when I picked courage, when I remember that particular Bible verse, I picked courage. I did not relent anymore. I said, no, I can do this. I can do this. If this person is doing this thing, I also can do it. Then I picked courage. I didn't look at who watched this video and tell me you did not do this well. Anything I did not do well, if you see it, when you call me, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so free to welcome corrections. I'm not the type that brags in my wrongs. If I'm any, if I'm wrong in any way, tell me, I never accept it. So the fear of not making mistake in life brought me to the extent of which I, I, I am in this YT journey. If I had taken up my, my cross that time that the fire was burning, I would have gone higher than where I am today. But because I was dwelling in inferiority complex, in self-pity, that was why what happened to me happened. So don't let anybody pity you. Don't look pitiable. 
when you look pitiable, you become weak. Don't look pitiable. Don't let anyone talk down on you. Don't let anyone intimidate you. Don't feel intimidated. When I was in secondary school, I was intimidated by myself. I allowed myself to intimidate me. So that is it. Don't allow it. Inferiority complex can kill your potentials. So don't allow inferiority complex to become a hindrance for you to do something. Anything that your mind, any good thing that your mind has been telling you to do, anything that your mind has been telling you to do that is good today and do it. If I'll be looking at myself and say, oh, you stammer, you're a stammer, so therefore you cannot do, you cannot talk in the public. I said no to that spirit and I pick up my phone and break holding and yeah, I'm doing it, I'm pushing it, I'll push it to the next level by the grace of God. So. I want you to look at me and be courage. It is not of him that will it, nor of him that run it, but it's of God that shows mercy. If God has given you the power to do things, don't betray yourself. Many of us we have potentials, we have you know we have things that we can show to the world, but we have kept them to ourselves because we feel that we are not enough, we are not qualified. So don't let self-pity bring you down. Don't be brought down by self-pity or inferiority complex. See yourself going higher. See yourself making name and you will see that you will you exceed from that negative spirit or negative thoughts. All right. And the next one is procrastination. Procrastination. Procrastination is a, is a killer. A destiny killer. Yes. Let me read to us what the Bible says about procrastination. In the book of Proverbs 27 verse 1, and it reads, Boast not thyself of tomorrow, for thou knowest not what a day may bring forth. You will say that I want to start this thing today. Today comes. Something make you, you stopped it, and you will let there still time. You say tomorrow. Look at what the Bible said that you don't nobody knows tomorrow. The Bible said that boast not thyself of tomorrow. You don't have to boast about tomorrow because you don't know tomorrow. You don't need to what you ought to do now. Do it now. Because tomorrow might be too late. Even the Bible says it here. Stop saying, okay, for instance, someone tells you to accept Jesus today as not a personal savior. You say that no, you are not ready. I have to enjoy my youthful age. I'm still a youth. Let me enjoy my youthful age. And tomorrow, Jesus comes tomorrow. What will you tell Jesus? The Bible says that, Boast not thyself of tomorrow, for thou knoweth not what a day may bring tomorrow. You don't know what tomorrow will bring for you. So don't say tomorrow because there is no tomorrow except that God choose to keep you tomorrow. So, Procrastination is very deadly. Don't procrastinate. What you know you can do today, do it now. If you want to accept Christ today, accept him now because tomorrow might be too late for you. Tomorrow is very, very late. Alright? So, don't say, I will do it today and today you will not do it. Tomorrow might be too late. If you know the good thing you want to do, do it now. Now is the perfect Perfect time, all right. Don't procrastinate. If you want to start some, if you want to bless somebody, and you have the finance, do it now. Because tomorrow the person may not be available for you to help him or her. Why not do it now and don't procrastinate? You, you understand? Procrastination is failing to do what you ought to do. So procrastination is avoiding to carry out. A certain task that needs to be carried out urgently. When you fail to do something that you need to do now, you procrastinate it to tomorrow. I say tomorrow. Whereas the best time to do that thing is now, but you say tomorrow. That is procrastination. And that tomorrow might be might be so so dangerous that you don't know what tomorrow is, like what we read in the book of Proverbs 27, verse 1. 
read it to yourself, then you will know. So don't talk down on yourself. Don't use negative words against your own self. There are people that say that I know that this will not favor me. Something you have not gone to do, you've not done it, but you've already used your mouth to condemn yourself already. Hey, it's not it's not uh, right. Stop condemning yourself with your mouth to yourself that you can do this. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. I know I can make it. I shall not fail. That, that's what the Bible said. God bless you guys once again for this video.